make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on bell notifications, and when you're done doing that, comment down on my latest video saying I subscribed, and I will make a video reacting to your videos. Hey lots, I'm Private Lot, and today I'm gonna be doing another reaction video. This time I'm gonna be reacting to Peach is Not a Damsel in Distress in distress by Nico BBQ. Now Nico BBQ makes some pretty funny videos. Well, I mean, they're not really funny, but they're good and entertaining videos. Like he has like this thing is called like like is not a series, like where he like uh, covers up like these Nintendo characters and saying like what they not are. Like they're saying like Ma like Mario's not a hero or Luigi is not an idiot or Peach is not a damsel in distress, which I'm about to watch right now. So you guys get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys do. But anyways, let's get into it. Yeah. Fidget spinners. Man, I haven't showed my fidget spinners in a while. Like a week, I think. I don't know. Well, whatever. We're not talking about fidget spinners. We're talking about. If we take the three main protagonists of the Mario series, we have a hero, a villain, and a damsel in distress that needs saving. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if you watch a couple of my videos before, you know it's not that simple. Because previously you learned that Mario is not a hero, That's true. and that Bowser is not a villain. Well, today we'll find out why Peach is not who you think she is. I'm Nico, and here are 10 reasons why Peach is not a damsel in distress. Number 10. Okay, four, okay. Maybe I should stop doing that. I figured the best way to start off this list is by stating the definition of a damsel in distress. According to my good old friend Google, a damsel what? in distress is a young woman Girlfriend. in trouble that needs to be rescued by a prince or a hero. So, what I get from that is that she is unable to do anything while she is captured. The thing is, mm -hmm. this is not the case for Princess I actually, Peach. Guys, so I actually didn't know um, damsel in distress. I didn't know that meant. I never even heard of that word before. Damsel in distress. Like, never heard of it. Like, seriously, not, not joking. I, I, seriously, never heard of it. For Mario Bros. 3, after every castle that Mario saves and every boss defeated, Peach then sends a letter containing an oh, item to yeah, help Mario. Can send items. I mean, she's Let's supposed to be captured. Yeah, exactly. Then how, how is she obtaining all those cool items and how does yeah, she send exactly. them to Mario? The is there thing like a mailbox where she's Galaxy, like trapped in or something? Mail told will oh, often have out. letters from the princess giving you one-up mushrooms. That is this true, makes me but question I never really thought about conditions. that. I mean, she can just get her end on whatever she wants, so I guess she's not in distress that much. <laughs> As a damsel in distress, you're weak, you're in trouble, you're always a wedding rescue. You're not helping out the hero, right? Well, tell that to Princess Peach. Oh, who's yeah. always up for a good old adventure. Yeah, and Super Mario, Super Wait, Mario Bros. But that was a dream. Peach joins Mario, Luigi, but, and but Toad that was to a try dream, to save the right? kingdom from the evil frog Wart. Now, I see you guys typing your comments as dream. you're watching the video. But Nico, Mario 2 was just a dream. Yeah, exactly. You are that's so what I just, stupid. That's what I just Unsubscrewed. said. Okay, okay, you're right. It was just a dream. But I know one thing for sure. Super Mario 3D World was Ooh. not a dream. And ah, Princess Peach was here to that rescue is the species all along. Well, Peach is quite honest, a if you take a good look at the opening cutscene for this game, Peach is actually the first one to jump in the pipe to go rescue them. This is very heroic. Peach is so wow. brave. She is. I don't know if so. Sometimes I'm kind of angry, but I'm happy most of the time. The thing okay. is, there's always something that triggers those emotions. Like, <laughs> I cannot turn sad or angry for no reason. The thing is, Princess Peach can. In Super Princess Peach, where Mario gets captured and she actually has to save. Wait, that's him. a game? Super Princess Peach? I never even heard of that game before! Since I never heard of Super Princess Peach. She can use her emotions to gain new powerful abilities. Yeah. When she's angry, she turns into one of those dangerous fireballs, crushing anything in her path. If she, she gets very excited to get and happy, power. she will start singing in joy and fly in the air. 
she can also smile and recover some health when she needs to, and finally, oh. she can turn super sad cool. and start crying. When that happens, her tears can make vines grow, so she can use them and proceed in her heroic oh, quest. Oh, that's cool! Oh, I agree, this is kind of <laughs> weird. The sole fact that she can control her that's emotion funny. and they provide her with new power I never heard is that game so freaking super awesome. Peach. You go, Peach. Show everyone who the boss is. Yeah. Number seven, okay. All right, I'm gonna say this one right away. Peach is one strong woman in the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, she, she has is. many castles that are named after her, but that's not all. She has built many race tracks that are used for the multiple oh, Mario yeah. Kart tournaments. She has her very own private beach, her very own garden, and along with oh, Daisy, yeah. she has a cruise ship service as well as beautiful hills. Oh, that's yeah. a lot of I things to that. own. I guess Princess Peach is a very powerful entrepreneur if she invests in all those things. And that's without mentioning the beautiful pink peach garden used to play golf. Or you know, her tennis court where she has a giant picture of her taking up the entire court. This is crazy! Peach, you think outside of the box and that's pretty cool. I like that. Yep, it is. Okay, number six. Let's see what's at number six. Being a hero and an entrepreneur is not enough for our beloved princess. No, she's also an Olympic athlete. And not oh, yeah. your typical athlete who competes in one event. No, oh, yeah, she competes in pretty much any event. In the summer or the winter Olympic Games. Gymnastics, figure skating, ribbon, synchronized swimming, boxing, you name it. She does everything! This is so crazy when you think about it. When would a damsel in distress get that good at every sport on planet Earth? I doubt Bowser yeah. has a giant ice skating rink Sorry, or an Olympic amazing. pool in his castle. This can only well, mean that the time yes. she spends being captured by Bowser is so little that she has tons of free time learning to get better at every sport. Yeah, wow. Seriously, Peach, you're an example for all of us. I mentioned earlier that we don't really know what Peach does when she is captured by Bowser. What we know is that she manages to sneak out some one-ups and items for Mario. But the Paper Mario series gave us a glimpse of what is actually going on behind the scenes. And it's kinda weird to be honest. She always ends up sneaking out she of her sneak cell when she or gets the room in case and ends up doing some crazy stuff. At one point, she bakes a cake for one hungry shy guy. Follow the yeah. recipe correctly, Peach, I guess. She also reads Bowser's secret diary. Ah, uh, come on, Peach, that's personal. Yeah, she also exactly. takes place in a TV show quiz where she must answer some weird questions. Well, I'm not gonna lie, she doesn't look like she's getting bored anytime soon. And her conditions are not that bad. Look at that comfy bed. Oh, she can wow. even take a shower at some points in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Yeah, you know what? Her life is not that difficult while in custody. <laughs> You know what they say? An image is worth a thousand words. So you know what? I'm gonna let the footage speak for itself. Does this look like a damsel in distress to you? Nope. Nah. She's this pretty is strong. Who kicks ass. Peach is one hell of a fighter. She has some pretty crazy body moves, and that cope with the fact that she can pull out a vegetable out of the ground at pretty much any given time to throw it back at her enemies. Whoa! This really? That's wonder. cool. Why doesn't she use that to prevent Bowser from capturing her? Mm. Oh yeah, why doesn't she? In the previous to, point, like, I just Bowser mentioned how Peach was like, fighting using some pretty her. swag moves. But did you think know that. she can also use any power well, just up that, that the Mario Brothers up. can? Yeah. You don't believe me? Well, in Super Mario 3D World, Peach can use the mushroom to grow bigger. She can also use oh, the wow, flower to shoot fireballs, or you know, the boomerang flower, the tanuki suit, the cannon box, the super bell, and you know, everything. These power ups are not for Mario only. No, yep, it's Peach also for Peach! It's also enemies. for Peach! This is just another example of Peach being super powerful and not a cheap damsel in distress. Yep.
Alright, wow, we're already in number two. That was pretty quick. So, we're already aware that Princess Peach is a very powerful woman. But how much do you ask? Well, not only does she have her own castle, her own beach, her own tennis and golf well, she's course, to be a billionaire. she also has an army that works for her. Her title Whoa, is Princess army. Peach, after all. So she has an army of servants that are willing to do anything for her, the Toads. You almost she was never an see Peach without she has Toads by her side. Servants. And when she gets you captured, most of the time you learn it from a Toad that tells you, yes, the Toads are always there for Peach. They're pretty much living for her. They want her well-being and are willing to do anything for her. You doubt what I'm saying right now? Well, let me just point out to you that there is one Toad that permanently lives inside Peach's... Um, well, you know what? This Toad here lives 24-7 there. Only oh, to be used what? Wait, as a wait, didn't I see that in the video? If you don't think wait, Toads are willing to do whatever... It BBQ already say that. Yeah, did he say that in his video? Um, Toad is not a coward because I I feel like he was saying that like um, yeah, Toad was in such like, yeah, whatever. Let's just get back Thanks to it. Peach, with that example, yeah. then yeah, guys, I don't know what would convince you really, because I mean, jeez, like, dude, there's a Toad in her. Whatever. Let's move on. <laughs> You know the reason why Peach doesn't use her moves to kick Bowser's butt when he tries to capture her? Well, simply put, Peach is not afraid of Bowser. This shows up pretty much everywhere. Even though she gets captured by him all the time, she invites him to join Mario in Super Paper Mario. She also oh, doesn't it? mind fighting by his side in Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Or, you know, she doesn't mind racing him or playing golf and tennis with him. Oh, wow, I will really? even go as far as to say that Peach kind of likes Bowser a little bit. She what? likes to tease him, to defy him when she's captured by escaping all the time. Yup, it's kind of obvious. Peach yep. doesn't really mind getting captured by Bowser. It's what? kind of a game for her. She's okay. far from a damsel in distress. That's kind of weird. She's the one in control all the time. I mean, she controls both Bowser to kidnap her and Mario to come and rescue her. Wow. No, that's a side of Peach you've never seen before. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. She's far from being a damsel in distress. Whoa. Yep. Hey, you don't want to miss anything and be sure to know when the next video is going to come out? Yay. Well, follow me on Twitter. And if you want to be super cool and want to go the extra mile, follow me on Facebook and subscribe to me on YouTube. Alright, bye! Ew. Ew. Damsel under stress, even though I, I didn't even know what that meant. But you know what? Well, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.